Hey, welcome to another episode of TK's Tech Corner, where we discuss all things techie for the average user. So in the last video, we discussed the GL iNet Slate AX travel router and how to use it in a mobile live streaming setup. We talked about how it had many features. And one of the features that I found that I think would be beneficial in a live stream setup is its failover and load balancing feature. But before we get into those features, let's look at all the connections that I have going into this router at this moment. So if we take a look here, we can see here I have an ethernet cable going into the WAN port. The other side of this is actually connected to my home router. The next ethernet connection you see is a LAN connection, which is connected to my yellow box pro. And the next connection you see is the Insego USB um, modem. And in this modem, I have a T-Mobile SIM card. So those are the connections um, as far as physical connections you can see, but I also have a wireless connection. Right now I'm using my iPhone as a wireless hotspot, also feeding another WAN connection into this router. So let's take a look at this in a diagram form. So if you look here, you can see I have ethernet, I have tethering, and I have a repeater. So how this all plays out as far as connections that you actually physically see would be this. Ethernet, obviously, is this ethernet line here. The tethering connection that you see is actually this USB modem. And the repeater connection that you see is the iPhone acting as a hotspot. So right now, at this very moment, we have three WAN connections. So right now, this router has three internet connections. Now, the feature that I want us to look at first is the failover feature. So I'm going to bring that page up. So as we're in the administrative panel of the router, if you were to click on the network tab and from that drop down menu, click on multi win, you'll be able to come up to this page. Um, and this page gives you the failover or load balancing feature. These are two different features. Um, you can only use one at a time. So let's go through the failover feature. The way the failover feature works is that if you look at my interface priority, you'll see I have ethernet, I have tethering, and I have repeater. So right now, my ethernet is set for priority. So as long as that ethernet cable is plugged in and has internet connection, the router will use that connection. If the ethernet fails, then it will go to tethering. If tethering fails, then it will go to the repeater. And this is how the failover system works. It uses your, it uses your top priority connection first. And if that connection fails, it will switch over to the next highest priority connection. Now, what you will also see on this page is that you are able to either um, to select force refresh streams. I have it deselected at the moment. And I'll get to that in a minute on the reason why. But what this does is. Is that if you have that selected. Say if my Ethernet drops out, it switches over to my tethering. It'll. Now I'll be operating on that tethering connection. Now let's say if my ethernet connection is restored with that selected, it would swap back to the ethernet connection. And for regular internet um, usage, that will be fine because you wouldn't notice any hiccups in it. But during a live stream, every time this router switches over from one connection to the next, you're going to see some type of stutter or um, lost frames or even, you know, the freezing of video. So I have mine 
checked off just so that the router doesn't go back and forth switching between um, the connections. I just know, want to know if one connection fails, it'll swap over to the next connection. Now, if we look at this also again, you have load balancing. So if we click here on the load balancing tab, if we want to run load balancing, what this does is that it takes all of your available connections and basically um, sends your data across the network over all three connections. And you can see you have the load ratio, which you can set. You can set uh, one connection to be higher than another one. Um, right now I have them all set to three. So with that, all the information is going to go over all three networks at the same amount. So low balancing works well to widen your, your bandwidth and also gain a little bit of speed. But what I found out through testing with the live streaming that fell over works best for me. Um, and to give you guys an idea of how this how this works, I'm going to insert a video here, let you guys watch a live stream that I was doing. And as the live stream was going, I disconnected the Ethernet cable and you will see the time that it took the live stream to recover from that Ethernet connection being disconnected and the router fell safing over to the tethering connection. So watch this clip and I'll be right back. And right now I am live. And I want you guys to know is that you can see the ethernet connection is there. The tethering is there and the uh, repeater um, connection is there. So I'm going to pull out the ethernet connection. And you're going to see that drop out here in a moment on the screen. So we just saw that the Ethernet connection has dropped out. And what I'm seeing on the streaming side of things is that now I'm dropping frames. I'm at 20% drop frames on the YOLO box. But if I come over to the stream, my stream did freeze. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to refresh it. To see, so the stream is still alive. It did freeze for a couple moments and it is showing drop frames. But the thing about this is, is that the stream is not dead. Usually, when you would lose internet connection of any sort without any failover system, your stream would immediately end, especially when it comes to. Um, streaming to Facebook Live. But right now we see that with the failover in the router, the router has switched over from the Ethernet connection and is going over to the USB modem connection and is re establishing that connection with RTMP service at Facebook. So the stream is not dead, it's just taking a little bit of time to recover. And now I'm seeing, now that I'm looking at the screen now, I don't have any drop frames. So as we can see from the video, from the time that I disconnected the Ethernet cable and the router fell safe over to the tethering connection, it was about 20 seconds of the video being frozen, but you can still hear audio, which is a good thing because now we didn't lose the whole stream because we lost connection. We just lost a couple seconds of video. Usually when you drop internet connection and you don't have a fail safe the live stream ends especially when it comes to Facebook and that's what I was streaming to I was streaming to Facebook anytime the signal drops or your connection drops from um, the servers at Facebook your live stream ends and there's no way to recover that stream well with at least with this fail safe on this router you're able to recover the stream as far as you don't lose that connection between the servers. You keep that connection alive 
and you're able to recover. You may lose frames of video, video may freeze, uh, you may lose audio at times also, but at least, you, at least you don't lose the whole stream. Now, this is not an alternative for um, a bonding server, but it does save your live stream from completely going down. Um, with a bonding server, you won't even know um, a glitch has happened where your user or well, the person viewing it won't know that a glitch has happened with your internet connection. If you have multiple internet connections with a bonding server, they will not see a drop in frames. They won't see video freezing. They won't see um, any audio loss as long as you are able to restore that connection within the time that um, that buffer is on that server, that bonding server. But what this does do for you is that it gives you um, a little bit of safety on your stream. And it's already built into the router, which is the best thing. You don't have to pay for extra um, service or another piece of equipment. It's all built into the router. As long as you can have multiple network connections, whether it's through the Ethernet, through the Wi-Fi, or through um, tethering, you can have at least three connections that you can use as a fail safe. So that's why I said this travel router is the perfect solution for mobile live streaming. If you're not able to afford a binding um, service, this will be your next best bet to keep your stream alive and not to lose a stream due to network failure. So until next time, see you on the next one.